So hello, this is Hiko Simon. Uh, I am here at the Japan Association for Refugees, um, where it's summertime, I'm moving house, I've got lots of fat clothes because I lost lots of weight, and so I've got lots of clean, hardly worn fat clothes, and they're tall clothes as well, which uh, I called up, I, I saw on NHK, they were featuring the Japan Association of Refugees, so I called up and said, Can, do you take donations? And they said that they do, so I brought my stuff. And uh, I'm here, I've met one of the people from the association, which I'd like to introduce, uh, Miyuki. My name is Miyuki from Japan Association for Refugees. Yeah, so I'd just like to introduce and explain a little bit about what they do. So I guess the first question is, um, there aren't many of these, you don't hear much about refugees in general, it occasionally makes the news. Mm -hmm. But um, is this like the, the main or only association that assists refugees? Are there other groups? I, I would say main organization. There are several other organizations mm. that help uh, refugees. But um, we are the only organization that um, helps from you know, mm. various aspects. Yeah. You know, right, not just the legal support. support but yes, yes. I understand. Um, so... The thing which caught everybody's attention recently was in the news, the, the figures came up for the number of applicants for mm -hmm. Japanese refugee visa versus the number of successful applications. So what was the number again? Um, there were 5,000 applications made last year and only 11 people were recognized as 11. refugee. Yeah. And so that's basically less than 1% acceptance rate. Yes. So I guess the first question is, with the, with the application rate so low, what, why do so many people even try? Um, many do not even choose to come to Japan mm. because um, so they were persecuted uh, in their home country and they wanted to go out. Just escape. Yeah, yeah. escape. And they tried to get visa from mm. any country as soon as possible. Mm. And because Japan was the first country to, for example, provide tourist visa, mm. so that's the only reason they came to Japan. So they don't know anything about Japan. They mm. don't know any Japanese or any relatives. So it's very hard for them. So it's not like Japan is a popular destination for refugees. No. <laughs> they all say they wanted to come to go to Canada or United States, right. Germany, or, you know. Yeah, I see. Um, so, it, so, a refugee arrives in Japan and they want to apply for a refugee visa. Mm -hmm. um, I guess they might find on the internet yes. your group. So, what do you tell them when they come and they say, I want to become a refugee? Well, what do they have we to do? first explain them that it is very, very hard to be recognized as a refugee in Japan. Mm. You know, the rate is very low. Mm. And you have to think about plan B, plan C first. Mm because 99% of them will not get you know, refugee recognition. Mm. So that's what we explain first. And after that, um, if they decided to apply for the refugee status, then we help them to you know, get through the process. Yeah. It's a very complicated process, and you have to prove by yourself mm. that you're a refugee, and you have to prepare like this amount of documents. So we help. Um, documentation and also um, waiting period is very long mm. in Japan um, average three years so you have to survive three years in Japan so we mm. also provide food um, you know, clothes and also if you if they need medication then we go to hospital together wow. so that kind of yeah, livelihood support so it's basically a volunteer based organization um, not really. Um, we have 20 full-time staff mm. because um, our assistance cannot be maintained only by volunteers. Right. Yeah, because we have to do, you know, open our office Monday to Friday because they come every day. So how is it funded, can I ask? <laughs> um, half of our revenue is from subsidy, mm. but because subsidy is... Um, very, you know, specify. Yeah, the purpose is yeah, very specific. Yeah. Right. So specific. So we want to raise more donations. Yeah. So that we can use you know, according yeah. to the needs. Right. 
So, so you have a system where you have things like you're saying before monthly supporters, mm -hmm. people who provide regular yes. donations to yes. sustain the activities. Yes. So about thirty percent of our revenue is from individual donations. Mm -hmm. So um, we have we currently we have six hundred monthly supporters, and mm -hmm. we want to you know raise them up to one thousand as soon as possible. Yeah, and what kind of activities do you? Uh, uh, so I mentioned so the subsidy money is for specific things like mm. translation, legal, that kind of thing. Yeah. Basically essential. Yes. So what is the kind of extra sort of things that you support with that? Okay, so for example, um, because they live in Japan for such a long time, yeah. they have to also prepare for the um, disaster response, for example, because yeah. we have a lot of earthquakes and many refugees don't, do not have such things right. in their home country so we have to do the workshop for them mm. so that they can you know survive you know, that kind of, that kind of emergency situation mm. and also um, we um, do advocacy yeah so that we can change the system mm. Mm. so that's one thing and also we want we also um, raise awareness uh, yeah. in our society so we organize a lot of events uh, to let them know uh, yeah. what's happening in Japan yeah. well, that's cool so I mean it, it and also like this kind of you know mm. um, money to maintain this office right, because right. Um, we are in Yotsuya station yeah. um, it's very convenient place because uh, we wanted to make it convenient so that refugee can access yeah. you know, from airport or you know Tokyo station. Yeah. So we can't make uh, we can't put our office in you know rural place. Right. So uh, in order to maintain our office, it's uh, you need a lot of money. So right. that's also so it requires a lot of support on yes. top of the basic subsidies. Yes. Um, so yeah, I discovered your office because you were featured on NHK recently mm -hmm. and uh, I happen to live nearby so it was convenient um, but I thought it's also interesting because you know uh, on Tokyo Tonight on my show I, I, I've talked about I think the news stories around this mm -hmm. um, I think I've mentioned before about um, Japanese government when, when the Prime Minister goes aboard abroad, he, he talks about in fact on the recent visit to America I think uh, Shinzo Abe was taken to a, a, a special Jewish uh, museum which paid tribute to Chiyune, mm. Chichune uh, Sugiura, um, who issued a bunch of uh, a number of transit visas mm. for, for Jews during World War Two, and uh, people are holding up. This is an example of J Japan contributing to s helping refugees mm. and making a humanitarian contribution. Uh, he actually did it without authorization at the time, mm. <laughs> but it was an example of a Japanese person thinking of uh, you know trying to help people out mm. like that, which is I think what this organization is about as well. Um, and unfortunately, it isn't, it isn't very well supported, perhaps, mm. in the society at the moment. No. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely worth, I think, uh, supporting. And there are other organizations like it, but the information for this one, I'm going to put in the video information below and things that you can do to, to support it and help the people. Who, it's pretty tough. I mean, three yes. years in a strange country, mm -hmm. a strange language, trying to apply for a yes. visa. Um, uh, are they allowed to work? Are there, are there restrictions or? How Some does that of work? them are, have working permits. Yeah. Um, if you have visa, uh, tourist visa, and mm. you apply for the refugee status, then you will get working permit within six months. Mm. But surviving six months is tough. Yeah. And also, even if you have working permits, it doesn't mean that you will job. get job. Yeah. yeah. Because in Japan, it's very, very difficult to find job if you don't speak any word of Japanese. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I, I can talk a bit about this as well. But there is a Japanese version of this video, some more detail if you can keep up with that. But we were talking before. I mean, there are places even like Syria. I mean, places that no one would dispute. Mm. Oh, you're a refugee if you're yes. from that place. But yet, basically, every application basically gets, first of all, turned down. Mm. And then it's a very long appeal process yes. to try to be one of the 11. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so, you know, it's clearly a very, very tough situation and, 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 and yeah, it, it doesn't make a lot of common sense in some mm. ways, actually, but uh, there are a lot of Japanese people who are on their own time, the dedicating time to helping these people, and uh, yeah, it's good to know about it. So, uh, check out the site. Thank you very much. Support them. Okay. Peace. Thank you very much.